All right, guys, let's get our BIOS on. Once again, we have the Z790 chipset with the live mixer motherboard, and this thing's due for a BIOS update, so let's get this thing done. Well, of course, your first thing to do is to figure out what BIOS version you do have and if there's one available. So down here, we're going to do a right click on the start menu, click on run, then type in there M yeah, excuse me, MS Info 32 and click OK. Now right up here, you're going to see right here where it says 2102. And you can see a date right next to it. That's your BIOS version and date. So we have 2102 in this live, pretty live mixer motherboard. I love this setup. Needs a graphics card eventually, but this is what we got. So we're going to close that. We're going to go ahead and if I my mouse would work here, open up your file explorer or your file explorer no open up your <laughs> internet explorer or um, microsoft edge that's what i meant to say or google chrome something like that now we're going to type in here oh uh, let's see we're going to type in your motherboard so we're going to go asrock z790 live mixer so that's what we're going to type in we're going to come right down here to the first option right there and waiting 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 some more and there's our motherboard so on here we always have support up at the top of the page that's not what we want we want to scroll down where we see another support for the actual motherboard we're going to click on support then we're going to click on bios and look at that, we have 2202. Now, I know I already went ahead and looked to make sure where there was an update, otherwise this video would be pointless. But we can see our previous BIOS version right there. And this is our new one, and we wanna click on the global download. Now, what it is updating is the microcode. You can go ahead and Google that. Microcode uh, has a few things that it usually updates, you know, security things and so on and so forth but what we're going to do is click on the global download we're going to make sure that that does download up there then what we're going to do is click on the manila envelope our file explorer oh it popped up over here so we're going to take it over to here and what we're going to do is go into our downloads folder and we can see it's right here we can do a right click and extract all we're going to extract it right back into the same folder and that's what we want. We want to do a right click on that. We're going to click copy. Now we're going to exit out of all of this. I didn't really have to do that, but the other thing what we're going to need is a thumb drive. Now, there's actually one other thing I want to show you real quick. If we go back to where the download was, we see this instant flash with a little question, well, not a question mark, but like an information tab. If we click on this, this actually up here tells you to format this drive or any drive that you have into a FAT32. I almost always recommend that. That is a guarantee you will get it completed. However, I am now experiencing where you can use it in NTFS format, uh, sometimes EX or uh, XFAT. Sometimes you can get those and it will update the BIOS perfectly fine. It'll read it. But this is kind of cool page where you can get some information on how to do stuff within there. So I just kind of wanted to show you that. All right, what we're going to do is grab your thumb drive and put it in the back of the board. Pretty much anyone will do, uh, with some exceptions. Now, we can see that this is empty right now. But what we're going to do is, because we already copied, remember we copied it. So now we're going to do a right click and we're going to click paste. And it's just taking a second to get in there. And of course, up here, you can see it says BIOS update. That's what I named that actual thumb drive that we just put in. All right, now that we have that in there, it's all good. It's ready to go. We're actually going to leave that thumb drive in the motherboard itself. We're not even going to take it out. And the easiest way to get into the BIOS without any issues with a delete key because if you're using a keyboard that is Bluetooth, Bluetooth doesn't even enable until Windows is fully loaded, so you'll never get into the BIOS that way. And sometimes, even with 
uh, a keyboard that's not directly hooked up, occasionally you will have an issue. So I have found the easiest way is you want to come to the search bar, just type in recovery, and you'll get something that has recovery options. So go ahead and click on that. Then you're going to see something right here. It says advanced startup. Now we're going to click on that quickly and it's going to restart the PC for us. And I will show you what happens after that. Okay, so this pops up automatically after you click that restart button. This is all auto. You do not have to have to, eh, you, if I can get my words out, you do not have to hit the delete key is what I'm saying. Now, what we want to do if this thing would focus is we want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then UEFI firmware settings. Then we're going to restart. What this is going to do is actually restart right into the BIOS so we don't even have to touch it. We don't have to mess around with the keyboard at all and it's guaranteed to get into the BIOS. All right, literally like three seconds later, it got into the BIOS. Now, from here, what we're going to do is you can see right down here, it says instant flash. And I'm trying to look right. Okay, here is our current BIOS, remember 2102. We're gonna click on instant flash. We wanna read it. And look at that. That is the new one it's going to, 2202. So we're gonna hit update, confirm it. And this progress bar is going to go across and get our BIOS up to date. Now, this could have a two, three, four. Uh, usually, it's not more than three or four reboots, but you never know. So, just give it optimal time to get back into the BIOS or to get back into Windows before you say, okay, nothing's happening. I've got a black screen. Just give it optimal time. Like, if you see it go black and you don't see anything happening, give it a solid 10 minutes before you actually shut the machine off and brick your motherboard. Give it at least that amount of time. Boy, I am going to have to talk to her about cleaning this mother... Or this... Right here. Look at this. Oh, that's disgusting. Well, anyway. The, um... Flash took, or the BIOS update took, so now we're just going to click OK. It's going to reboot the system. Some motherboards, like MSI, I believe, and ASUS, they'll reboot automatically. Um, ASRock, I've found that you have to click that OK. They will not reboot automatically. Now it's going through. You can hear the fans ramping up, and it's going through its first reboot. Remember, this could take two, three, maybe four times. Um... But that should be it. All right, so right there was our third reboot. It three times, right? And it looks like we're getting back on Windows. It could be a phony thing. But, oh, yep, we are getting back into Windows. Look at that. All right, beautiful. Now, our last thing, and I won't even pause the video. We are going to check. We're going to do a right-click, run MS32. And we can see right, oh, stupid windows. All right, so we can see right here, 2202 is our latest. We have the latest date. Everything is working. Even our RGB is back to the way it was. And that's it. That is how you update. Um, I will show you quick. I know it's at the end of the video. But in case you're wondering on how to format a heart or a one of those USB drives. So see, we got this in here. I'll just go ahead and delete this. It doesn't matter if I delete this now or not, really. Uh, but if you're going to go and delete this, let's get a better view. And let's just do BIOS update. So that's our thumb drive. If we do a right click and we come down here, uh, yeah, format, this is how we format. So see, this one is in FAT32. I could have put it in NTFS, but FAT32. I named it BIOS update, you do a quick format, and you just click start. I'll do it right now, it doesn't matter. I, I've done this a thousand times. And give it just a few seconds, and we'll see it complete. And if it takes longer than a you know a minute or so, it might depend on how much data you have on it. But if it, it only takes that long, there's no problem. But if it takes a lot longer than that, occasionally you could have a problem with um, 
your your USB port or the thumb drive itself. So anyway, that's how you format it. Um, I won't get into too many other details. And anyway, yeah, now our bias is up to date and good to go. So hope you enjoyed. Take care, everybody.